Pulse were back today and I hope they treated you kindly. It wasn't so for me because I was on the receiving end of the regulatory action. Just for context, 2022 RBI removed the pricing cap for microfinance lenders, which means RBI said we will not decide the interest rates, you decide them. Yesterday I talked about four microfinance companies that were banned by RBI from giving further loans. The impact was there in the market today. Couple of companies that I own, they fell a lot. Manpuna Finance, which is the parent of one of the companies which was banned, that tanked 13%. With respect to this deregulation, who owns the destruction of wealth for investors? Here I am not at all justifying the companies put their CEOs and CFOs behind the bars if they have broken any law. On the other side, Hindustan Zing came out with their results. The results were good and I'll talk about them in the nugget section. Especially my decision whether I will be investing in this company or not. That is because Hindustan Zing is in the red zone, 60% away from the 52 week highs. Also, I'll briefly cover MRPL results. The results were good, but will the share price go up? No. <laughs> Back to market action. I can assure you none of these companies are owned by you. Jindal Steel, SRF, Bank of Vadoda, Hevels, Adani Energy, Canara Bank, Vedanta, DLF, Torrent Pharma, ICICI. So chances of retail being happy over the weekend are very low. This is the Nifty Next 50 pack. Zomato which is raising more money that was down because there was so much coverage on media that Zomato's other income is their maximum income right now. That is the reserves they already have. Why are they raising more money? In the Nifty 50, Access Bank, good results up 6%. Wipro, good results up 4%. ICICI Bank was one of those banks visited by the bulls today, 2.7% up. I was not expecting Infosys to fall so much, but that was down 5%. Retail Infosys is usually long term. They don't sell for a quarterly result. Mostly FII selling. This is Infosys chart came down by 11.15, it was all done, then it consolidated on thin volumes. The volume action was very early in the morning. The consumption pack, Hindustan, Unilever, Nestle, Britannia, Asian Paints continues to crack. Really weak sentiment. Good outing for the bulls today, four of the large sectors were in the green. The consumption related sectors were the worst performers along with software. The best returns continue to be with the investment banking firms. This was the investment banking pack yesterday. Today it came back strongly. Motilal Oswal up 11%. Now Motilal Oswal is in the green zone. This company along with Angel One was a laggard. Angel One is still down. Today I was facing some issues with the feed from my provider. So some of the charts Though I've tried my best to fix them, may not reflect the correct data. Nifty and Bank Nifty were good today, continuously up. That is despite Nifty opening slightly low. That is mostly because Infosys fell a lot on the first tick itself. But then Nifty gradually recovered. Bank Nifty was okay whole day. That is because HDFC, ICICI, SBI, all three banks were green. And Access Bank to top it was up 6%. I did not sell my holding in Bajaj Finance, but I was expecting Bajaj Finance actually to not do so well today. It was okay, did not go anywhere. PFC slightly up, public sector banks were doing good, SBI up a percent, PNB 0.8%, Bank of Brother 2.5%. Look for HDFC Bank, if the results are not good, it will lead to a large crash on Monday. This is the largest weightage company in Nifty 50. IT companies looked really scared today. Zomato down 5%, LTM entry 6.3%, Infosys 4.5%, LNT Technologies down 2.1%, persistent half percent. IT is suddenly looking a bit shaky. Defense pack Mazgao dog jumped for the silliest reason of all because the company is going to consider a split changes nothing in the fundamentals just improves the trading in any case this is a high beta stock up 7% just because of stock split and this pack is funny in one respect that one company needs to go up the other two start dancing in tandem no GRSE and Cochin shipyard are not considering a split. Investors and traders in metals case are really really confused right now. That is because of the huge influence China has. And we'll talk about Hindustan Zinc stock in the nugget section today. Hindalco was up, so was Tata Steel, JSW Steel along with Vedanta, 
एन एम डी सी थ्री परसेंट सेल अप हिंदुस्तान कॉपर एक्चुअली ओनली जिंदल स्टेनलेस वॉज लुकिंग अ बिट वीक ओनली रेडिको खेतान वॉज लुकिंग स्लाइटली गुड इन द एडेबल कंजम्पन पैक ट्रेंट कोलगेट पिडिलाइट एंड पेज इंडस्ट्रीज वर अप अ बिट अलॉन्ग विथ थ्री एम इन द नॉन कंजम्पन पैक बट कंजम्पन इज नॉट लुकिंग गुड एच यू एल डाउन टाइट एंड डाउन एशियन पेंट डाउन डी मार्ट डाउन इट सीम्स कंजम्पन इज स्पीकिंग फॉर नाउ वी माइट नॉट सी द न्यू हाइज फॉर द कंपनी विच आर डाउन अ लॉट मे बी फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स वन ईयर ऑल्सो नाउ दैट इज ऑल्सो बिकॉज इन्फ्लेशन विल नाउ मेक अ कम बैक इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक थ्री सिक्सटी वन वॉज डाउन अ लॉट बट ओवरऑल स्टिल लुकिंग गुड मोतियाल ओसवाल इलेवन परसेंट सी डी एस एल टू परसेंट एम सी एक्स थ्री परसेंट आई सी आई सी सिक्योरिटीज अप जे एम फाइनेंशियल अप मोतियाल ओसवाल कंटिन्यूज टू अमेज फोर एक्स वॉल्यूम्स एम सी एक्स मेड अनदर हाई दैट इज डिस्पाइट अ ह्यूज पी नियरली टू हंड्रेड नाउ मोतियाल ओसवाल पी कंपेयर टू इट्स पीयर्स इज स्टिल रीजनेबल ट्वेंटी टू लुक एट एच डी एफ सी एम सी फोर्टी फाइव एंजल वन इज ट्वेंटी वन Nuama thirty five. So if you don't look at the trend of what has run up a lot, then Motyal Oswal and Angel One still look good. The underperformer from yesterday, auto sector, Tata Motors was up two percent, Icher Motors three percent, TVS up, Bosch up. A bit of recovery, but no significant gains. The fall in Bajaj Auto stemmed half percent down only. While I don't own the stock, I expect Maruti to still give decent results. Infosys impact Nifty IT was down one and a half percent. Remaining sectors are all good. FII is continued to sell five thousand five hundred crores, eighty thousand crores. That's close to ten billion dollar, slightly less. DII is seventy five thousand crore bought. They matched FII is completely today. RBI governor is justifying his stand that. Rate cuts are immature right now or premature. Tata consumer profit unchanged. The street will punish it. This is the problem when sentiment is turning negative. Gold seventy seven thousand six hundred, silver above ninety three thousand, Bitcoin nearing sixty eight thousand, rupee above eighty four, crude below seventy five. Banking day, the top stocks were ICICI Bank, Axis Bank, SBI, along with Wipro and NTPC. Nestle continues to crack along with ITC, HUL, Asian Paints and Infosys. Next fifty slightly better, fifteen stocks down, thirty five up. What was up most? Jindal Steel, Bank of Baroda, Hevels, Adani Energy, Canara Bank. Hevels was down a lot yesterday after the results. On Monday, if Hindustan Zinc parties, then Vedanta will be a beneficiary that will go up as well. Musgaon Dock split. Aerospace and Defence was green as a result. Automobiles looking good today. Banks look good too. Axis Bank and ICICI Bank up most. Varun Beverages did not go anywhere. Asian Paints down, but Pedilite up. Coal India up. RVNL corrected today. LNT was up a bit. Cement looking good. Adani Enterprise another half percent crack. Trend point six percent up. Dima down another two point five percent. Hotels down. Insurance looked good. HDFC Life and ICICI Prudential Life they were looking good. Life insurance is doing fine. General insurance, vehicle insurance, this pack is not. Siemens ABV up one percent each. CG Power corrected. Metals good. Sun Pharma up one percent. Real estate mix pack. DLF was up one point six percent along with Godrej. Red Tape is the only specialty retailer stock in the green. Though Kalyan Jewelers has been going up like anything, but it is off from the top. Titan down, Page Industries up. My day, I sold Motilal as well. That was up ten eleven percent. I sold it a little earlier when it was seven eight percent up. I mentioned yesterday in anticipation of results next week. I bought persistent. Infosys looked good to me. I bought Infosys in the long term portfolio. May sell a bit of it for trading if it goes up suddenly. I bought Angel One. The value proposition looks good. The sector is still in the momentum. I moved some funds to Motilal's ETF. The mid cap one. I tried a bit of ATL Nifty in options and BSC intraday. Overall, a profitable day. In the Sun Zinc results, let me first give you an international view. These are the zinc prices internationally. This is November. This is November. This was the period when zinc was consolidating in a two hundred dollar range internationally for about six to eight months. 
see here hindustan zinc was consolidating at 300 at that time zinc shot up it went to 3090 from where around 2400 that's a 25 percent jump approximately hindustan zinc went from 300 to 750 2.5x in the same time see these peaks they are nearly matching correlation then zinc prices corrected internationally Hindustan Zinc corrected but not much. They went up but since Hindustan Zinc did not fall much, it went up a little. Fall, fall, up, no up. Why? That is because we are all confused with the China factor. This is the China stimulus part. International prices are going up. China is undecided with the stimulus whether they'll go up or not. China is the second largest producer of zinc in the world and the dumping was impacting India's prices. India has one very interesting part. Hindustan zinc produces a lot of zinc but 50% of that approximately is consumed in India. 50% of it is exported. Suppose this value is X. India imports X back internationally at international prices. The profit here goes to Vedanta PLC via Vedanta India. This is a national resource. Back to results, year on year, 6619 crores became 8000 crore, 1400 crore plus. Nothing in other operating income. Total income is mostly revenue from operations. 7000 crore became 8500 crores, approximately 1500 crore plus. Expenses, this is comical other expenses is the biggest head so if you can't find the classification for your biggest expense you need to expand this perhaps and the auditor has no issue with this there is no bifurcation provided by other expenses this is like a miscellaneous category total expenses increased from 4700 crores to 5300 crores tax expenses 590 827 this was 829 last time which is okay Nothing big here. Net profit 1729 became 2327. This is a jump of 600 crores. About 33% kind of jump. Directly reflects in EPS 4.1 became 5.5. Nothing unusual in the entries. Nothing which is a one time entry. Results are clean. Pure profit. So overall year on year it's a thumbs up kind of result for Hindustan Zinc. Now the China factor which I was explaining, if China's stimulus comes up, then China will no longer dump zinc and Hindustan zinc should go up a lot. I will think over the weekend whether I'll invest a bit into it or not. I'll probably invest in steps if I do. But if Hindustan zinc rallies, it will rally a lot. But slightest sneeze from China and this will come crashing back again to the red zone. Now one interesting part in the shareholding pattern, FIs have increased their stake, very paltry amount, 0.75% to 1%. TIIs have increased as well from 3% to 3.1%. Government owns 30% of Hindustan Zinc still. Such a volatile company with public holding only 3%. MRPL, revenue 28.8 thousand crores, up from 22.8. 6 thousand crore extra revenue. That's more than 25%. That's a jump in revenue year on year. Cost of material, 15,600 crores to 22,000. That's a jump of approximately 7,000 crores. Crude still has excise, no GST. Excise numbers look okay. Total income, 22,9 to 28,8. Total expenses, 21.3 to 29.8. More than income. Why? There is a funny entry here for inventories. Year on year, 443 became 2160. Quarter on quarter, minus 1311 became 2160. Now, inventory means they have crude or finished product in their stock. They have booked the cost as expense. They have not sold it, which means they have not realized the revenue. What does it impact? This quarter's profit. Because profit is revenue minus expense. What is the result? Negative EPS of 4 rupees against an EPS of 6 rupees year on year. Previous quarter was 50 pesa. What will market do? Punish the stock. The assets are there. The crude is there. What will I do on Monday? Haven't figured it out. Probably will hold it for some time. Let's see. Not a bad company. The 
assets are still there no point in throwing the money on the road hope this analysis style is useful because not many people get into these balance sheets beyond the eps column thanks for watching and i'll see you on monday